a friend of mine called me about an ad in the Quick Quarter newspaper about a lady that was selling some Indian artifacts. She had 30 pieces to sell, but would not sell them individually. She had a nice mixture of pipes, gorgettes, the statue, so I ended up buying the whole set. I tried to research it. The closest thing I came to was a book of statues in Georgia along the Coosa River. All right, when we're authenticating objects, what we do is we look at it stylistically, that is the eye shape, the nose, the ears, the various elements. It does have a similarity to the Etowah pieces from Georgia. And there are known figures that are all through this valley of large pieces like this. It has some writing on the back. This is something that you see on a lot of artifacts where they'll write the collection history right on it and that'll give you an idea of where it may have been found. So does this really make sense? Now I can say that this is very unusual to see these ears like this with a, a human face. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. And when you look at, again, the way this is handled, it's similar, but it's a little bit, a little bit crazy. Now, see these tiny holes? Uh-huh. There's holes here. I'm going to turn it again. Yeah. And you can, you see these holes here? There's another hole over here. Did you think about those at all? I talked to a friend of mine that said sometimes when they when they cast something, you have air holes that... It's a cast piece. It's not okay. real. Okay. That's a killer, isn't it? That's a killer. That's what I was afraid of. Let's back up a little bit. There's a couple of things about this that are really interesting. First of all, for major objects like this, if they're real, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. A lot of money. The other aspect of it is we have to be very concerned about whether they came off state or federal lands because there are a lot of laws about the possession and sale of these things. So the chances that you would get one that would be legal would be highly remote. Right. So, in other words, if this thing were real, I'd be giving you good news and bad news. I'd be saying, hey, this thing is real and you're going to jail. That's not good. So, as is, as a decorative piece, it's still three to $500. Okay. So it's a nice, decorative, interesting piece, and now you have a roadshow story to go with it. All right. 